back to the Clegg kitchen. Today, the girls are going to be doing some baking. Daisy is cooking out of me Tati Biro book, but I love this book. Where did you get it from? Uh, Morrison's. <laughs> Uh, she's going to be doing butterfly buns and Katie is going to be doing a recipe that we saw on Facebook. It's um, Rolo. Rolo Cupcake Cookies, should we call them? Mm -hmm. When Daisy's done rattling the chocolate and eating it. <laughs> so first things first is just to weigh out all the ingredients so we have Daisy there and Daisy you need in your bowl this one yep four ounce of margarine right I'll put it on here right yep I think it's on can I get a drink yeah can you just tell them make sure that's on ounces Sorry for the wobble. Ounces. Oz. Yeah. I just need a drink. Nine. Then I hope. Forty. Four with your forty. Yeah, on the table. That's a quarter. Keep going. Run it. Go in the corner, it'll be easier. That's where everyone else gets it from. Rather than lift it, dig in. Here, look, can I just show you? Mm -hmm. What's she got so far? Two and seven eighths. Three and one eighth. Now, because steady, because you shouldn't need much more. Put, no, put that whole thing in. No, put that whole thing in. We have washed our hands too much. Big sister to the rescue. Just gonna have a tea towel. Why don't you just peel it? Oh, there. Ah. Come back in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> so now, Daisy, you need four ounces of caster sugar. Table. How many? So it's going to go up to eight. Yeah, or you can press the that again. So it goes to eight. I mean, four. four. Be careful with this because you don't want it to come out too fast. Now keep going. Keep going. Wait, there you go. Whoa. Well. Right. Careful, what's she got? Three and eight. You know this, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep going, you're not even halfway there yet. Yeah? There you go. Hey, you're my duck! Right, so you need to cream that. Oh no. Yeah, try and keep it in the bowl, won't you? And there you go. Not on my table like all the margarine. Right, let's get Katie underway. Katie has to chuck everything in at once and mix us. Ooh, wonky. Hello, we're straight. Right, Katie, you need... Two ounces and three eighths. Am I doing it? Yeah. Careful not to spill it out. I know, I just think... Um, Katie, you need 500 grams of flour. Oh, no. Wait, can I chill it off? You mix it. You've got to cream it together. Yeah, but I don't have to. Uh, it's a basically. Should I? Like, like that, like that. Katie's doing. So, oh, you, so you're mashing it together. So look, yeah, with this hand. Wait. Daisy, hold it flat. With this hand, right? Mash it, turn it, mash it like that. Okay, but trying to spit it out, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't mean to spit it out, I don't trick it out. Right, Katie, where were we? 500 grams. I wasn't being mean, I was trying to show up how I be taught. 
We know. 500 grams of flour, sweetheart. Plain. I think so because it doesn't say, but you've got bicarbonate of soda. You don't need to take it out. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, guys. It's all right. Am I doing it correctly? You are. How much again? 500, sweetheart. Grams? Yeah. Oh, I was on ounces. Thank you. No. I've got new flower tins. It's a bit hard. Oh, use a spoon, darling. Can I borrow your spoon, please? Yeah. As if by magic. Woo, dancing spoon. 500. Yep. As in five double zero. Yep. It's going to be here ages. Ow, it's sticking my arm. We're having Domino's for tea and we're going to watch uh, Witches. Mmm, I can't wait for watching Witches. Yeah, and um, I'm going to see if they have a ham pizza because I like ham pizza at the moment. That's My favourite is ham and mushroom. 500. Ooh. Yeah. I think this is almost done. Oh. No, it isn't. You've got to cream it after you've mixed it all in. How do you cream it? I think I've mixed it up. We've got any plain flour left? <laughs> Probably not. What are you up to? And she's done it. Oh, and she's overdone it. There was five or five. I'm just Very precise is our Katie. I'm creaming mine now, guys. Um, she gets her hair coloured again soon. Really annoys me when it doesn't go bang on the dot, guys. <laughs> she is happy, honestly. She might not look it, but she is. <laughs> she's she's happy on each other. I don't know. <gasps> they do. Oh. That's proper exciting for me. Right. Um, oh, 250 grams of butter. Is that this? Yep. Can I yep. borrow your knife? Grams? Uh, yeah, we're all in grams. 250. Oh, that's the whole thing. Is it? Blinking egg. <laughs> and you've got to mix that with a wooden spoon. Yeah. Oh, no. Guys, I think she's going to break the spoon. So, 250 of this. At least we didn't put it in the fridge. Because we, we went to the co-op today and we put it out outside next to the sink instead of putting it in the fridge. So is it fairly soft? Yep, you know, you could cut it into chunks if you want and put it in rather than just put the whole block in. I think I've creamed it, Mum. No, that's not cream, that's mixed together. Now you've got to cream, it's got to look lighter. How do you do that? <laughs> mix, 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 mix. Mix fastly. She's done well because she's kept it all in the bowl. For once in my entire life. Dad. Please. On the back. Please can you put up a picture of me when I was little baking some stuff. I just made that more of a wreck. Alright, Katie's putting the butter in. Katie doesn't like messy fingers, I'd I guess. Oh, oh, I made, I made like a pizza wrap at dinner time. Ooh. You did? Oh. And it was a bit oh. noisy. A bit noisy? Yeah, it was making that like. Oh, sizzling because the, the cheese came oh. out, didn't it? Mum was a bit chronicking. I wasn't. <laughs> I know, I made it a pannequin. That's only 247 grams. Hi. My arm hurts. It diddled you out of three grams. Two. One seven. Yeah, no, it just went back up. Ah. Right, so that'll have to do. Maybe this was like. Two rounds. <laughs> right. 
Ooh. I don't know. I don't know whether to tell you to crumble that in. Why do you crumble it? Well, no, because with the instructions it says in a bowl add the flour, butter, egg, sugar, bicarbonate of soda. What happens if you mix butter and flour together first? And chocolate chips. Mix until you have a smooth but dough. But what if you mix the first two ingredients, add the other ingredient, add another ingredient, add another ingredient? Or does that, or does it not work? Because maybe, because may, may, like that's a, like a list, maybe. I would put your bicarbonate soda in, um, get a little dish. Oh, we need a teaspoon. I'll go get her one. Thank you. No teaspoon, a uh, measuring spoon, just don't worry. No, because you need 10 grams. Oh. Ah. So if you measure it into a little dish. Push down my Doritos. Mum, I think I've... Okay. Oh, sorry, what's next, sorry? 10 grams of bicarbonate of soda. Exactly 10 grams. We'll do as the recipe says, yeah? Yeah. Chuck it all in and do you know like you showed her how to cream the sugar in that? Do it that way. So are we adding the rest in now or am I mixing Yep, it? so you need 200 grams of sugar. Are we using the brown or the caster? Whichever you want, sweetheart. Can we use that? Yeah, is the one open or do you use the other one? I will just use this. I'm kind of together. 200 grams. Yeah. Oh, I've got eight cups. Sorry. Can I have a spoon, please? How much over? That is very bad for me. <laughs> 200! Yay! Uh, you've got the bicarbonate of soda in. And now your, your 200 grams of chocolate chips. So these ones, freshly made from the co-op, probably about some months ago. And then you want egg. It's a strange things? recipe, isn't it? 200. Yeah. I've got, um, I thought cookies didn't have it. Some do Ah. But these ones are, like, different. Okay. <coughs> Go on. 202. <gasps> Leave them in. To make up for flour. Makes up for the butter. <laughs> I was going to say it was the butter. Anyway, now that's exactly 200, so I'm happy with that. So your eggs, an egg. We don't need these again yet, do we? Well, no. I don't. Am I in frame? Of course you are. Not in the centre, you are now. Egg. Yep. In. Bowl. Yep. Now. Yep. By the way guys, I have can a little I... bowl. Wait. Sorry, can I have a tissue please? Bless you. No, I was like, it's tissue. I know. Oh. <clears throat> by the That's way, a guys, kitchen roll. By the way guys, I'm going to be um, I have a little bowl with my eggs in it because if I want to crack my eggs then I can do it into the bowl and get out of the shell. It touched me. <laughs> oh no, it touched Katie. Right, and you've got to mix that together to form um It's no dough. Yeah. Um that's your workout for today. Okay. <laughs> All I can say is good luck. Ta. Try not to lose an arm. Please. We'll come back to this one because I think it could take about an hour. <laughs> so we'll catch you in a minute. Recording? We are recording, right? We're back with Daisy. Katie gave up with the spoon because it really wasn't doing anything, was it? No, I made to put balls as well because it was too full. 
So she's doing that by hand. I don't like it though. And I like <laughs> eating chocolate chips. Right, so Daisy has creamed her um, margarine and sugar. Right, and now she's up to putting the eggs in. Eggs and flour. Eggs, one egg at a time. Can I, am I allowed to crack on this? I don't get any shell in it. I'll try. Can I sit shell out? She panics though. I do. Look, see, you like that. Put it up there. Here, wipe your hair. Have you got eggshell in it? I don't know, it's got like dough. Yeah. Right there. Alright, let's have a look. Mum to the rescue. I'm not a good guy, so don't drop it. That's not eggshell. Isn't it? Well, yeah. What's the problem? Give me a tissue. Oh, the Just be the core of the egg. Um, should I put it in? Yep. There's an egg in here somewhere. <laughs> um, no, a spoon. spoonful. Yeah. Chop together. Oh, now a monkey. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you can tell it's my mum's first time recording. No, it's not. <laughs> well, people keep moving. I'll have a go at that in a minute for you if you want. My idea is to make it into like soft, soft dough, dough, and then you can like smooth dough. It's not smooth. It's never gonna be smooth. I'm going to like a little bit of milk into it. We'll sort it in a minute. Instead of crumbling it, no, no. try and... No, don't do that. Get it in your hands and smush it together. That's what I've been doing. Whew. Right, we'll come back in a bit. I'll see if I can help Katie sort her dough out. I've got it, I've got it. Poor old Katie, I think she got the uh, harder end of the stick, should we say. Don't think we'll do in a rush to make these again, unless we think of a different cookie mixture. I guess you could just use any cookie mixture really, couldn't you? Yeah. It just seems dry and not enough moisture in it. What if you had a splash of shim milk? A shim milk? <laughs> I don't know what shim milk is. A splash of milk. Try it if you want, sweet. Guys, I baked cake so many times I'm not even the instructions anymore. You know what? I baked um, cake so many times I'm not even the instructions. Oh, we do. But, you know. What did she say? She's baked cake so many times before she doesn't even need instructions. So me telling her what to do is not instructing her. I'm saying that I'm getting good at it. I think I'm quite good at making stuff. Yep. You're you're the only way to learn is by doing it. If you make mistakes, you know, so what? Kate is a baker and I'm an artist. Mmm. Okay. Now that. Now that's a bit more doughy. Right, we'll come back again in a bit. Right? Here's Katie doing her cookie dough thing. She has to mould them into the muffin tin. So, and it was supposed to be one ice cream scoop, but she's found it easier to do it the way she's doing, basically. Aren't you sweet? Yeah, because also the ice cream 
I've moved it. The ice cream scoop. Because it, it's not really, it's not like a soft dough, like it won't, well, it might be a soft dough, I don't know. But it weren't like scooping out, it just wouldn't let you go ching ching with it. The dough seemed a bit dry, so Katie added a bit of milk. And it seems to be working fine, doesn't it? Until it comes out and it's all crumbled. Yeah, until we can't get it out of the muffin tin. No, I did say she could put some grease in it, but Mum says apparently these tins are like non stick ones. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't tell you to grease your tins, I don't think. Until it says. I'll just go and have a check. Oh. Add a scoop of cookie dough to each compartment of a greased muffin tin. But this is great, like a non stick anyway, so technically it should. Should work. But you don't do it when you make Yorkshire puddings, do you? No. Eh? Don't you make Yorkshire puddings in these? Yeah, but I always put a bit of fat in. I'm just looking now, I'm just looking. Uh, push your fingers to the dough to a cup shape inside the tin. Add three roll oh I was reading that. Add three rollos to the middle of each one, then add a circle of cookie dough on top and seal the cup together. Bake the cookies in the oven for 20 minutes. Oh, well, if they don't come out very well, then I take full responsibility. Well, we can eat them anyway. And I don't know if you can see, but Daisy's buns are in the oven. So, she'll let Katie crack on with this and come back in a bit. <clears throat> Hello. We're back again. Don't know why I'm talking like that. Um, Wait, show everyone your Welsh accent. I can't do a Welsh accent. Proper good. Sounds like proper good. Maybe I should move to Wales. Yeah. Why? Anyway. You know, we have to put a new packet of rollers for three rollers. Right, she's on all up me washing there and I need to put to dry, but never mind. It's not touching the cookies, things. So, she's on the last one, she just put the three Rolos in, squashed them in. Personally, I wouldn't do that. I didn't squash it in, I was like... Yeah. Looking. I had to get a palette knife. So, it took a bit of doing, but she's got there. They need to go in the oven. I didn't like that space, because it was covered up by them two, and I didn't want to touch them. So, was that other one? No, because I did, I did that row there, then I did this row, and then I did that one, and then I was like, oh, but I've got to touch them two to get to that one. <laughs> it makes sense in your head, sweetheart. <laughs> right, let's have a look. 20 minutes at 170. They need to go in the oven by. Oh, look, there's Peter at the door. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> that was not good. No, he thinks he's funny, but he's truly not. What are you not. doing? I need to get there. Oh, only give the ants. Why am I am so giddy? 20 minutes. Yep. That's proper good, that. Yeah. No, time. And so they'll be ready at what time? Half past. Well, okay. <laughs> so come back at half past then. Oh, we're going to sneeze. Bye. Right. There's Katie playing a game. Okay. We've finished them. Two of them came out a bit dodgy though. But never mind. There's Daisy's buns that she did. Look nice. And here's Katie's um, Rolo cookie cupcakes. Put them upside down because the, the bums are a bit, a bit soft. But that's it. Looks gorgeous. So uh, it looks like a meat pie actually. I think once they've like dried a bit more, because obviously I think it's my fault because I think I had to come out too and a bit early. So no. Nah. Mm -mm. It'll be right. Oh my god. They'll get eaten just the same. Look. It's pink fur. It's an old one, isn't it? Yeah. I used to have that. Are you there, Bob? Hello, Bobby. <gasps> we found that apparently. Bob, sit. Sit down. Sit. Sit. I can see he's well trained. Sit. Sit. Bob, just sit. He don't like sitting on this floor. No, he doesn't actually. I can't say that I blame him. And, 
Hi. We have Daisy there doing the pots. I'm tidy too, don't worry. Yeah. Oh look, and there's me four jars of red cabbage I've made today. Yum yum. I love pickled cabbage. It's actually pretty good, even though I eat it. Right, so that is it for today. Do you want to say bye for us and end it? Bye. Say thank you for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. It was very fun. Ooh, that sounded a bit robot like. <laughs> So guys, we'll catch you later. Thank you. Bye.